Hello everybody, I'm here by my car, there it is, and I'm parked at a pub. I'm just about to go on a walk today and you might have gathered if you're watching many of my videos I like walking most of the time I walk with a group I've got a walking group I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out and we walk around Kent and the other times I'm not walking with my group I'm out doing research walks and reccees so that I can find interesting routes and I can offer them to the group and see if they would like to come on one of those walks. So today I'm doing a research walk and I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to show you what I do on a research walk and I'll show you the countryside. Let's go! So one of the things that I always, always, always take with me is a map. I absolutely love maps, but also they're very handy in case you get a little bit lost or you thought you knew where you were and actually you end up being somewhere different. So always take a map with you. I use uh, the scale 1 to 25,000, a little bit more detail than 1 to 50,000, so I recommend that as well. And today I am in a little place called Hucking. I'm going to be walking across this area behind me which is the Hucking Estate hoping to do a nice circular five six mile walk and finish back here at the pub. Just to explain exactly how, why, not why, but how I do these research walks and you know plan out the route. I find a place where everybody can meet. Normally it's a train station or a pub, um, or someone where everyone can park or people can get to via public transport. And from there, I look at the map, I plan out the route. And when I plan out the route, I'm estimating about a five to 10 mile walk and I'm looking for interesting features along the way. So we just had a beautiful view back there. We're on the North Downs Way, which is one of the long distance footpaths in the UK. And we're just gonna head down to a little village now called Hollingbourne. Uh, apparently the sign is saying, go straight down the hill. It's always a bit unnerving when, you, when you're on a footpath that just there doesn't seem to be any trace of it through a field. You think, am I allowed to do this? And um, then I go and walk the walk, basically. I talk the walk and I walk the walk and I check if the route's interesting, if the viewpoints are nice, if the footpaths are good. Sometimes I have researched the walks recce the walks and they're not that great you know you're walking through farms um with disused machinery and it's just got a really eerie sense to it and i think i don't really want to be here and i don't really want to bring a group here so that is what i do i love that they've got a pub here called the dirty habit god i love that british humor oh look this village is really pretty That's where I've just walked from, that little corner of the field there. And that is the most challenging type of field to walk across where it's slightly uphill for about a kilometer. Somebody's shooting in the woods, you know, shooting rabbits or pheasants. I'm not really sure, but I wish they wouldn't do that. I'm trying to enjoy this walk and those animals are trying to enjoy their homes. This part is, I don't know if you can see there, beautiful, beautiful view, but it's quite gruelling going upstairs, upstairs. <laughs> Actually, it might be easier to go upstairs, going uphill very gradually, 
one step at a time to get to the top but the view is definitely worth it I was just thinking that I don't really get scared on these walks but I guess when it starts to get dark you do feel a bit more aware and listening out to the rustles of the leaves and uh, you can hear like birds flying off from the trees that normally really scares me but um, makes me jump. I've done about five miles now and I'm um, heading back round to the pub so I should finish the walk soon. Jeez. I'm back at the pub where I started and I finished my walk and according to my little app, I don't know if you can see that, if it's going to focus, that was just over six miles and as you can see it took me about two and a half hours. Thank you for coming along with me on my research walk. I hope you've enjoyed this type of video. If you have, click the subscribe button and I'll put all of my other social media links down below. I'm on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I'll take some great photos if I don't say so myself. And I will see you again on another walk. <laughs>